I went to a library book sale today and I know Okay, I know what I said, my goals for the year video. I am so sorry. I have absolutely zero willpower. So here's a $45 book haul for you. And all I have to say for myself is I'm sorry, um, but I'm not ashamed of what I'm gonna show you. So let's talk about the books that I bought. I'll tell you the total amount of books that I bought at the end of this, but I only spent $45. So let's go ahead and get started. We went to a library in Cook County today. They were having like their winter friends of the library sale. So we started out on the lower level, which is like hard covers for a dollar, paperback for 50 cents. I wish that we had started out upstairs, but we'll talk about that in a second. I did only buy four books in the downstairs level, three hard covers and one paperback. So we'll start with the paperback that I bought. I love Neil Shusterman. I got Downsiders by Neil Shusterman. This was in, of course, the teens, young adult section. I do still read YA, so I've added this to my collection. I would say with it saying ages 12 and up, I would maybe consider this more middle grade. I have children, so even if this isn't for me, it will be for them eventually. I'm not gonna sit here and explain what everything is about because we do not have time for that. There are a lot of books that I need to get through. First book. I have read a Grady Hendrix book in the past. I read The Final Girls Support Group. I enjoyed that book enough that when I saw How to Sell a Haunted House, I was like, I have to get that. This book was only a dollar. It is in pretty great condition. There's no damage to the dust jacket. There's a little bit of dinging at the top. Well, there's a little bit of damage to the dust jacket, but for a dollar, I'm not going to complain. I did say that I'd like to add a little bit more to the horror section of my collection, and I do think that this will fit the bill. Yes, this is a horror novel. I don't know why I questioned myself. I wanted to add more horror to my collection, so here we are, a horror novel. I have never read a book by this next author, but I saw two of her books side by side on the shelves, and I was like, I'm gonna read a little bit of The Dust Jacket. They sound interesting enough. And those are going to be Blackout by Lisa Unger and Die For You by Lisa Unger. These both seem like, they're both thrillers for sure. This one I think is New York and Prague setting. This one is in Florida. So very drastically different novels from Lisa Unger. Both thrillers though, we all know me. So from the lower level, the friends of the library section, we moved to the second floor of the library where they had the quarter room and they had the, better books room. I did spend most of my money in the better books room of this library because I got a ton of books in there. I spent like $21 in there. We got some quarter books too and we'll talk about those. Let's go ahead and go through my better books. They had a lot of book of the month books in there, which if you know me, you know that I love to collect book of the month books. My children's grandma said, did you read The Lies I Tell? Did you get The Lies I Tell from book of the month? And I said no. And she said, well, you should get this one. So I got this one. Julie Clark wrote the Last Flight, which I also have not read, but I found this and I was like, I need to get it. It was $3, which is a deal that I can't pass up. I also found an Alice Feeney book that is in immaculate condition for $4. It's a withdrawn library book, but unlike my local library, this book doesn't have any like stamping on it. And this binding will come off very easily. There's nothing on the inside to indicate that it's a library book other than this right here. Good Bad Girl by Alice Feeney, brought home with me today for $4. I've got two paperbacks here that we're gonna go over. I found The Last Flight by Julie Clark, and since I didn't purchase this book before through Book of the Month, I was like, now's the perfect time. This paperback is in outstanding condition. This one was $2, but it's in excellent condition. I also got The Only Woman in the Room by Marie Benedict. I think that this one's a historical fiction. Again, I'm trying to broaden my horizons here. I added another historical fiction. Majority of these are, of course, thrillers though, we all know me. The only woman in the room was $2. And then we have a Frederick Bachman. I have several of his books in my collection. So when I saw the winners for $2.50, I was like, I have to get that. I know that some of my friends like Frederick Bachman and the whole point of my books is to share with my friends. So that was the better books room. Oh, I'm sorry. That was actually a lie because my kid's grandma found Vampires of El Norte and I didn't see that when I went through. I was specifically looking for Darcy 
Darcy Coates, by the way. One woman in front of me did have a Darcy Coates book in her hand, but I assumed that it was the only one because I was scouring the place for Darcy Coates. She was like the only author that I was looking for when I went into this library. However, my children's grandma found Vampires of El Norte and I was like, I didn't see that. And she was like, well, there was another copy. So she went and grabbed me the second copy of Vampires of El Norte by Isabel Cañas. This one's also a library book that was withdrawn. But again, this library doesn't stamp or anything. So once I cut this library binding off, it's gonna be like a brand new book in excellent condition. I literally can't wait to read this. I love Gothic fiction. This is gonna be great for me. Last stop in this library was The Quarter Room. I didn't actually get myself very many books in The Quarter Room. Mostly I found books for my kids in there. I can't pretend like this isn't for me. This is an R.L. Stein. It's The Babysitter 3. I just still feel such nostalgia when I read R.L. Stein. So if I see books that I don't have, especially ones that are like this little, I buy them for myself. 25 cents. How can you pass it up? For the kids, I found a bunch of Beverly Cleary and Roald Dahl's books that we don't have. So I found Ramona and Her Mother, Henry and Beezus, Ramona's World, Beezus and Ramona, and then Fantastic Mr. Fox and James and the Giant Peach. I know that my kids like these books. My older son especially loves the Ramona books, so I couldn't pass them up. So there's gonna go in my little, my little kid library for them to share. This Pokemon handbook, it was 25 cents and it has literally all the Pokemon in here. And they're little boys who are obsessed with Pokemon, so I, I could not get this for them. I found three books in the quarter room for myself, and I'm gonna show you one of them because the other two are St. Martin's, so we're not gonna go over them. I found Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion, and I loved the movie, so I want to read the book. And I haven't read a good zombie book in a very long time, so I'm very, very excited to add this to my collection. And I'll let you know when I get to it what the thoughts are. That was the first library that we went to. But because I'm me and grandma is grandma, we were like, hey, you know where else we wanna go? Our library. I couldn't pass it up. I did only spend $12 there, but I got quite a few books. So let me show you those ones and then we'll close this out. Let's start with the most expensive book that I bought at my library, which is The Family Game by Katherine Steadman, a thriller. Grandma says that she's read it and loved it. I couldn't resist the neon on the cover and I'm a thriller girly, so I had to get this. I just read this section right here where it says the rules, listen carefully, do your research, trust no one, run for your life, and I was sold. Katherine Steadman's The Family Game. I found a Harlan Coben that is not in my collection. This one's The Stranger. It was a dollar, I couldn't say no to that. So here we are, another Harlan Coben for my collection. I also went ahead and perused the young adult section just because, like I said, still a YA girly at my heart. One of the books that I've had on my Libby hold for forever is The Rest of the Story by Sarah Destin. So this one added to my library for a dollar. We have a book that I've read before in the past. We all know how I love Sherry LaPena. I got the couple next door in immaculate condition for one dollar. As I was perusing the thriller section, I saw a name that jumped right out at me. I wasn't even, I just was perusing. I wasn't even specifically looking for this author, but once I saw Karen Slaughter, I said, ooh, yeah, The Kept Woman, a dollar, again, in immaculate condition. A must have, here it is something that I can't wait to read. My children's grandma found another Karen Slaughter for 50 cents in there, and I'm very jealous of that. I found another horror book for my collection from an author that I haven't read before. It's The Disappearance by Bentley Little. I read a little bit on the back, and what jumped out at me was Burning Man. It sounds like something that I would be interested in, and I'm always looking to add more things that I don't normally read to my collection, so horror it is, and an author that I don't actually have, so that will be fun. I saw a Lisa Gardner book for 50 cents. It's gone by Lisa Gardner. This is another Lisa that I have a great time with. She kind of writes like crime novels and I don't read a ton of those. I, I lump them in with my mystery thrillers just because it's easier for me to do that, I guess. But Lisa Gardner is one of my favorite crime writers. I got The Descent, not The Descent, Descent by Tim Johnston. Again, another dollar. The last book that I'm going to talk about is the first book that I grabbed in my local library because I immediately saw it and was like, you know what? I keep seeing it everywhere. This is my sign to absolutely have my heart ripped out and read A Little Life. Everybody I think knows about this book. It's 
a little hefty, but it was a dollar. And how could I say no to that? I don't know how long this will sit on my shelf before I get to it because I hear that it's just absolutely devastating. But alas, here we are. Last book that I got. In total, I got 35 books for $45. And is that how I wanted to start this year? No, not particularly. But at the end of the day, I am who I am. For me, this was money that was given to me for Christmas. So I didn't spend my own money. It's girl math, you know? But I did buy quite a few books today. And now I get to go and log them into my Excel spreadsheet. I do thank you so much for being here and watching what I bought today. If you like the video, please feel free to leave a like. Subscribe if you are new here. Let me know what you think of the haul, if there's anything that I should prioritize in the coming months because I'm planning on doing TBR jar, but now my TBR jar needs to be updated. Let me know in a comment. I will see you all very soon. Thank you for being here. Goodbye. <laughs>